JJ, I have a good idea. Let's watch TV now. Maybe they show something interesting there. Attention, everyone. Whoever passes all our tests, surviving in a lava room or in a water room, will receive a lot of money and our award for the coolest survivalist in this village. Wow, can you imagine? We can earn a lot of money with you. Let's take part there. Call them and find out where it is. Hello, and we would like to take part in your test. Please tell me where you are. I understood you. Then we'll be there soon. I asked the organizer where all these houses were located and they told me that it was not far from our village. Well, I understand where it is. So let's go. This will be very cool. We will undergo interesting tests, and for this we will also be paid a lot of money, which we can spend on delicious food and also buy ourselves cool computers. How cool it is that we have this test in which we can test ourselves. Well, at the same time... Good afternoon, we called and would like to take part in your test to earn a lot of money. Yes, of course, follow me. Look, JJ, you will survive in the lava room and you, Mikey, will survive in the water room. I will give you all sorts of tasks and you will complete them. And at the end, we will pay you a lot of money. Wow! Here the whole house is actually made entirely of lava. I wonder how the furniture that stands on the lava and all the other things don't burn. This is some cool technology here. I have to be really careful. Otherwise, I'll burn alive in this lava. This is just mega cool. So I want to eat first. I need to somehow get to the kitchen and find something to eat. This parkour is really very difficult. Here there are such long distances. And if I make even the slightest mistake, I could fall into the lava and it would be very unpleasant. Yes, you will have to really work hard for the money. Great. I found a kitchen, but now I can use it to parkour. But parkour is not the easiest. You need to carefully do everything here. Jump there, then jump here. Let's see. Maybe there will be something here. And carefully jump further. The main thing is not to get caught on anything. How interesting everything is arranged here and the lava holds its shape, doesn't spread anywhere and doesn't drip from the ceiling. It's amazing how they did it. This is some new level of cool technology. Great! I ate very tasty and well. Now we need to parkour to the second floor to see what's there. Maybe there will be something interesting there too. But you need to be very careful not to fall into the lava. I saw a ladder there. I'll climb up it and see what's there. This second floor is also really steep. But to get to the third floor, I need a ladder. But there are no ladders here. Accordingly, somewhere on the second floor, there should be either a ready-made staircase or blocks of wood from which I can then make a staircase. Therefore, you need to parkour here and carefully examine everything. Somewhere I will find something 100%. There is a workbench here where I can craft myself a ladder to climb further. Yes, this is very dangerous parkour. I could get really burned here. But for the sake of money, I will try really hard and be really careful. I couldn't even imagine that today we would take part in such a cool test. I wonder how Mikey is doing. On the contrary, he is in the water room. So in theory, he doesn't need to parkour. He can swim everywhere there and it's much easier and more interesting. How lucky he is, not like me. In general, here he is on the verge of death and he calmly rests there and swims in some water and eats. It's just like being at home in the pool. They will pay him a lot of money for this. How lucky he was and he got this water room. But to me, the lava room is full of danger and all that. It's so good that I've already found everything I need to craft a ladder and can climb to the next floor. Cli Great! I have all the ingredients to make this, so I'll jump on this bed now. Let's see if there's anything else here. Now I'll set up a workbench and craft what I need. It's too bad that when I parkoured I got a little burned. That is okay! I ate and have already regained my health and feel much better. Yes, it was really dangerous and I was a little mistaken. It's okay, everyone makes mistakes. I'm human too. Well, it's okay. Something like this happened. Well, it happened. I need to move on because the test continues and I really need money now. Then maybe we can even buy our own small new house or maybe a car or something else so cool. Yes.
This parkour is really cool and dangerous. I can't even imagine what awaits me next. Now I need to finally park it back. Put this ladder up and climb even higher. Let's see what happens there. How cool it all looks here. I still can't believe that I'm in a house made of lava. I have never seen anything done with such cool technology and someone succeeded. But they succeeded and what's more, they're filming it. Maybe this is some kind of experiment and they are conducting it on us and they pay for it. But they did it as if it were just some kind of test. It's interesting to know all this about, I would like to meet Mikey already. Find out how he spends this time and what happens to him there. We need to call Mikey so that he can go up to the roof and we can at least discuss something and find out from him how he is there. Mikey, get on the roof. At least we can talk like this. I want to know how you are. Hi, JJ. How are you feeling there? Everything is great here. There's water everywhere. I'm a great swimmer. I don't stress at all. I just ate, watch TV. It's just really cool, and I'll get paid for it. But here, everything is tough for me. Very hot and dangerous because I could fall into the lava. Recently, I even got a little burned. But now I ate and regained my health. Yes, this is very tough. Well then, let's go to bed and see what happens tomorrow. Shoo, I'm so tired today. This is a really hard test, and only a day has passed. I don't even know how I'll cope with this. It's so hot here, and I'll have to sleep in this terrible heat. Well, what can you do? I still need to rest. Let's see how it will be tomorrow. But now I'm so tired and so want to sleep. I now need to carefully park my way to the bed I was already on. It seems to be very comfortable and I can sleep there. And the next day will come, and a new test. The next day has arrived. Well then, I need to parkour. You can watch TV, otherwise there's nothing to do here anyway. I'm actually not hungry. I'll need to go down to the floor again and carefully walk to the chair. I'll sit on the chair and watch what's shown on TV. Maybe they'll show you what the weather is like today. Or maybe they'll show you our village. It's so hot here. I slept in the heat all night. But it's okay. All we have to do is be patient. Because there is little left and we can get a lot of money later. And now I have a couple more jumps left and I'll just be on this cool and comfortable chair watching TV and relaxing. Yoo-hoo! How cool is it for me to survive in my water room? So fun and cool. Oh no! The lava house begins to collapse and everything begins to be filled with lava. It seems this is the most important experiment. What should I do? Need to be careful. I'll take the TVs and go upstairs faster. Maybe the second floor isn't flooded with lava yet. You need to parkour carefully. Oh no. I was burned a little by the lava. But now I'll eat very quickly and restore my health. Wow. How suddenly it all started. I couldn't even think. What's going on at Mickey's? Are they really starting to flood it with water? Then it's not very cool anymore because he might suffocate. Hey, I need to quickly parkour to the top. But here at the top, too, everything is collapsing from the lava, and I can't get out of any windows. So the only option left for me is to climb to the very top of the roof. After all, lava won't be able to fall on me from above. But I need to be careful and parkour very well, so that I can actually get there and emerge victorious from this situation. The main thing is that everything is okay with Mikey, too because he is my best friend. I'm already worried about him. He needs to dial urgently. Mikey, quickly get up to the very top of the roof and we'll come up with a plan on how to get out. I see only one plan to jump from the roof sideways. We have enough strength to survive this jump. This is the only way we can escape. Otherwise, the house will collapse and we will simply fall into it and die. Well, let's jump faster and meet where we were divided into different rooms. Let's jump. Phew, I survived. I need to quickly run to Mikey and find out what happened with this organizer. Where is he anyway and why didn't he tell us anything and I want to see my money. Guys, you successfully passed our tests. And now please give an interview on camera so that you can then be shown on TV on the news. After this, I will pay you all your promised money. You will be free. I liked it all very much. It was a lot of fun. I swam in the water and ate all kinds of food and had a blast. I didn't really like everything because I was constantly in the lava. It was very hot and I got burned a couple of times. 
Thank you for the interview. Now you can get all your money and rest easy. Thank you very much for participating in our experiment. Yoo-hoo, we were paid so much money and we went through all these experiments. It was mega cool and hard. And now we can finally go home to our normal room without lava and water and relax there peacefully. We were paid so much money. It was really worth it. How cool and incredible it is. How cool! Now we have so much money! We can scatter wherever we want! Let's give this to all the residents of our village so that they have money for food and everything they need. How cool it is that we took part in this experiment! Now let's go home! Soon we will be shown on the news how we gave interviews! I really want to see what you and I said there! I liked it all very much! It was a lot of fun! I swam in the water and ate all kinds of food and had a blast! I didn't really like everything because I was constantly in the lava, it was very hot, and I got burned a couple of times. Yes, what a great interview we had with you! And everything was so cool! And now we have a lot of money! Just imagine we were shown on the news, the whole village saw us on TV. Now you and I are celebrities, and very cool. And now I suggest going to a resident who sells explosives, buy a lot of dynamite and blow up this lava and water house, so that no one else takes part in this experiment and does not risk their life, because you could actually die there. You and I are cool professionals, we were able to survive, and everything was fine with us, so I suggest we do it that way. JJ, I completely agree with you. We need to destroy these houses and everything that was there so that no one else can participate in these experiments. Yes, you and I made a lot of money, but we were just very lucky. And I could have simply drowned in this water. And you could burn alive in lava. We were very lucky that you and I jumped and were able to survive. Therefore, no one else should participate in this. I think you should blow up these houses so that everyone can live in peace and everything will be fine in our village. And in general, it will be very cool and enchanting. This has not happened in our village for a long time. Who would have thought that you and I would participate in such a cool experiment and be able to live there? It was very dangerous. How many times could I have fallen into a water trap? Well, in general, of course I rested more, but it was really dangerous for you. Every second you could fall into the lava and die! How many times have you been burned? It was really dangerous and they didn't think about it. Most likely it was some kind of experiment to study some kind of water or lava houses. And this experiment was performed on us! If we hadn't survived, we wouldn't have been paid anything at all! We were just very lucky and they went very broke on this! What a beautiful explosion! How good it is that we destroyed these houses and now we can live in peace and our village will also live in peace! Well, today we got into a cool adventure!